All right, time for this week's winners and losers. Mike, I'll start with you. Well, my winner has to be Liz Cheney. She uh, demonstrated outstanding courage and character in her speech this week. And my loser has to be Kevin McCarthy because he proved that Donald Trump can order the political execution of anybody in America from Mar-a-Lago. Laura? Uh, my winner uh, it are basically Hoosier kids because they can start getting um, vaccinated <sighs> and they can get a sense of their normality and their lives back. Uh, my loser this week are the House Republicans for all of the reasons that we mentioned earlier. Abdul. Uh, my winners this week are everyone uh, across the country who's graduating uh, so far this yeah. year. They do a lot of virtual learning, lots of obstacles, lots of challenges. I teach uh, part-time for UND and Ivy Tech. So very proud of those folks yeah. who graduated so far this year. Uh, my big loser, uh, unfortunate city of Indianapolis. Uh, we had more, record, more, more homicides this week, uh, which puts us on a path for another record year. And that does not count the three mass shootings that we had so far this year either. Continues to be a big issue in the city. Adam, you get the last word. Only losers this week, Dan, and uh, those are members of the Indiana GOP who continue to deny uh, election results or at least not be forthright about re what really happened in, um, uh, on January 6th, uh, including you know, Representative Jim Banks, Representative Victoria Sparts, and, of course, uh, Attorney General Todd Rokita. All right, our thanks to the panel. Our thanks to you for joining us. Much more ahead on Fox News Sunday and Face the Nation on the situation developing in the Middle East this weekend. We'll see you again next Sunday in Focus.